Right now, I'm about to go check on my boy Keegan. He's working on the E46. So, yeah. Yeah, I started talking about that already. So, yes, boys, just got to my boy, Mr. Are Keegan. We, we cannot, man, I shall arrive. Because uh, I'm alright. They should be. Make sure to subscribe, man. Yeah, but you're not alright, my boy. Who's not alright? Because you call, my boy. And I told them that. This has got in your mood so, so low. So, Pause. remember, remember what we, what, what, what I plan to do to the car? Mm -hmm. The name was from the other thing. Yeah. There's no the thing that no one knows about. You guys are gonna know very, very, very soon. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. You might find out in the next coming three, two videos. Mm -hmm. You might see it, so. Are you guys ready for that? If you guys are ready for that, go to my boy's channel. And make sure that you guys don't miss that announcement because okay, that's guys, something big. You guys must understand the way it is, the thing I'm doing, it's gonna stay here yeah, for quite a while. Quite a while. So it's, yeah. it's standing, so why not just let it stand more? Yeah. Instead of when I just do that once. Because when I fix it and I drive it, you I guys aren't ready for that. Yeah. yeah. Tell us what the issue is with the car. From two videos back, the issue was that your tippet cover blew, right? Yeah. And spilled oil everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then you in the process of getting the car fixed or sorted out, something else happened. Yeah, so the tapered cover gave in. I went and bought a new tapered cover. After I bought a tapered cover, my screws had to hold the tapered cover. Mm -hmm. Those screws go from the tapered cover to the head. So those screws would, were stripped. Yeah, so from I, the threads. So so, the so, threads. so the threads were completely gone. out. Yeah. Even on my head now, the threads are gone. So, so you have to get your, your head re-threaded? I have the... the Oh, okay. The king, so I'm gonna retrain it myself. Okay. Okay. So as we took out the, the valve cover, actually I had to break the valve cover because this not here. If you guys can see this one in particular, if you, if you guys can see that it's a bit cracked over there. Mm -hmm. Um this guy didn't want to come out. So we had to break the valve cover and then loosen it while it was like this. Mm -hmm. And as we did that it came out. But as it came out, my father hand slipped. <laughs> the bolt fell Aish. into the We took out the cam, the cam shaft. Mm -hmm. We took out the timing belts and everything just to find those bolts. Uh, we only found the one that Keandre dropped. Mm -hmm. Keandre dropped one somewhere here. The one my father dropped, I think it fell into this hole here. Oh, and sure. from this hole it went straight into the sump. Yeah, that's basically it. So it's not mm. really a big problem because it went down into the sump. The sump has a strainer or filter. So it's not gonna cause much damage or anything. Or it won't cause damage at all. Wait a minute! What's the way forward now? So the way forward now is that I need to get... There's a few bolts. So these studs here. Mm. You can see these two studs. There's two missing here. Mm -hmm. So the one is kind of stripped because it's shorter than the rest of them. Mm. This one here... If you look at it from here, this point is like it's someone bent it. It's not straight, so mm -hmm. it's gonna break. Mm -hmm. So I might as well replace the both of them. Both and of them or all of them? Or? Just two. No, just the two. Just the two of them are fine. Okay. I don't have money like it, but. <laughs> <laughs> and then I need to get a valve cover. Once I get the valve cover, valve cover, and then what? No, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Those, those two studs, and then another shorter stud, mm -hmm. the valve cover. And then we are good to go. Then we are good. There you have it, boys. That's the whole story with the E46. But I'm seeing some some smiles and, and hope from my boy. So I guess things are coming all right. So yeah. Yeah. I wanted to do the manual sort for you guys, but... It's, uh, just not now. Yeah. Because the thing I want to do, I have literally everything. I just Everything need, now? I, I've had everything. I just need and, piping. Oh, piping. Okay. Yeah, so... My boys. My boys. My boys. It's going to be a one of one E46 in South Africa. In SA. Yeah. Mm. So... All right. One week later nice way to start this section of the video guys hope you guys are still good this is the next saturday from where we ended off by the last part so yeah guys right now i'm on my way to go fetch the box and test fit the wheels with the spaces i really hope that they're gonna work out really nicely so yes guys let's hope for that but yeah um yeah guys i'm still feeling like crap it's been a week now and yo guys i've been through the most 
But y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe, boys and girls. See y'all. 20 minutes late. Boys and girls, I just got here. So I'm gonna do the wheel change where I'm gonna tie the wheel first. And then if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna put the originals back and get more spaces tomorrow. But I might just take out the bobbit, put the originals, the stock steelies on the Kia and take the bobbits with and put them in the box. Then I might install them tomorrow, depending on how I feel. If I'm trading the process again, then yeah, I'll just put the bobbits on tomorrow try them tomorrow or yeah for now let me take out the bobbits from the kia and put back the steelies so yeah guys much 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 later guys i want to show you what's the hardest thing about fitting spaces oh this is pretty dark so yes guys uh the hardest thing about fitting spaces uh this thing is not really balanced anywhere right so like you find the right holes but when you have to put now the wheel back boys that's the hardest thing ever but once you get one hole in and you manage to put the other one in as well then it becomes a bit easier but boys having to balance wheels with the adapter and the spacer and having to find the hole through the wheel mind you so you have to somehow balance these to not fall try to put the wheel there and then put the nut through everything boys that's the hardest thing but i managed to do it on the driver's side so it might be easier to put it on this side as well because i, I saw which are the correct holes for the spacers so yeah but this thing like ends up floating this one just try to balance but yeah boys uh, that's that good news or bad news boys and girls i'm giving you guys good news with the spaces now we can have full rotation boys so we are good damn 12 seconds late The next morning. Ah, yeah, guys. Ah, yeah, yeah. In fact, right now it feels like I'm fighting for this fitment. So I'm from Mapunya Mall again, guys. This is literally the next day from what you guys just saw. I'm from Diamond Sounds again to get longer, longer starts. And right now I'm on my way to Mix to get spaces. So my five mil spaces didn't work properly. Mix says I should come over and come collect another set of spaces from him that might work he says i think it's nine nine mil spaces so hopefully that will work guys so yeah today is the quick works call meet it's a sunday and i'm still running around going for spaces and well, fighting for the fitment of the orbits on the box boys and girls which is crazy so please guys like the video and subscribe to the channel and yeah We'll see how the day turns out. If the wheels really don't work, guys, I really tried my best. But uh, yeah, man, I really tried. So <laughs> let me go see my boy Mix and get those spaces. How's it, Mix? Don't you want to bring the car inside? Or are we in a rush? Yeah, I'm not going to stay long, my father. Yeah, no, it's good, good. man. I hope they're going to work. I hope so as well. Nine man. millimeters, like, maybe. Because those fives, mm. it's almost they double. Daily, yeah. So hopefully they're gonna work. Hey, Thanks, Mix. Yes, I hope so, man. The very next evening. Oh, and yes, guys. This really is a multi-day vlog. Like you guys have been seeing, it's been next day, next week, next Tuesday, next what what. But yes, guys. <clears throat> uh, update on the wheels and the spaces. They didn't work out. Like it didn't want to work out. First tried those five mil spaces. They didn't work out. My boy Meg said I should also come and fetch the 9 mil spaces. Also didn't work out. So guys, my final verdict is that 15 inch wheels are not gonna work on an E30. Or well, there might be, maybe it's just that the wheel, the wheel itself and how it's configured, it's just not gonna work. So yes, boys and girls, unfortunately, uh, we tried and tried and tried our best, but yeah, it just didn't work out, boys. So yeah, unfortunately that's that boys. Some of you guys commented on the comment section, said that the wheels are not gonna work. And I thought maybe it was just the spacer thing. But yeah guys, if a five mil spacer just grabbed a bit and a nine mil spacer still didn't work, I, I'm not gonna run a multi spacer on the wheel just to try and make a 15 inch wheel to work out. So yeah boys, someone also on IG also said that yeah, the wheel looks nice on the car, but however, it's really not gonna roll or go anywhere. Yeah, I should have listened to you my boy. <laughs> 
But yeah, boys, if you guys remember Jermaine, Jermaine is the guy that gave us the number plate holder, the prestige number plate holder that we're looking for all this time. He wanted to pull us his 17 inch wheel. Uh, I'll pop the pictures just now. But yes, guys, it's the Emmet. Uh, do you guys think we should go over the wheels or should we wait and be patient? until we are then ready to pop a new wheel for the car and i've been eyeing my eye on a nice wheel but right now it's just not the time boys and girls to buy a wheel because there's so many things to sort out on the car but yeah i'm like i'm really not rushing a wheel on this car it was just a test fit to be honest to see if the bobbits were gonna hold and make the car look nice but yeah tell me what you guys think should we borrow the wheel or should we just be patient and chill One second gear and the car's just spinning i don't know why but it's wet like it's raining like you guys can see so i don't know why guys this thing was just fully fully spinning and i wasn't really intending to i was just on second gear going up the hill and it was just spinning which is crazy <laughs> oh but yeah boys and unfortunately yesterday um on the day that i was trying to just fit the wheels Boys and girls, I oh, this is just making it. I was actually trying to get the wheels on the bobbit uh, for the big event that Equipped Works was hosting, Slammer Sunday. And unfortunately, guys, since the wheels didn't work out, I had to swap all the wheels back to where they were. So my stock wheels went back to well, they're just chilling now. The bobbit off the B30, back to the Kia again. So all that thing, all that wheel swap just took time. Oh, what a beautiful E36. I don't know if you guys saw it. We didn't say. Yeah, that, that took time. And unfortunately, I got the late, boys, because I was supposed to take some pictures and some content there. And the weather was just bad at that time. So we met up with the boys, Keegan, Migs, and Keandre. But yeah, guys, I apologize for being there late. It was really not my intention. But I wanted to give you guys a cool surprise of the E30 with the bullets on. So yeah guys unfortunately that didn't work out but yeah sorry guys for talking too much once again so please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel it's a monday evening or afternoon whatever it is pretty tired taking back the e30 and guys there's a huge thing that's gonna come well i don't want to jinx it or say anything for now but i hope you guys stay tuned for the content that's about to come because something crazy crazy is coming for the e30 boys and girls I'm pretty sure that you guys don't want to miss this so please make sure or consider subscribing to the channel if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already and like the video in the meantime and guys thank you for 4,000 subscribers we're really close to that 5,000 subscriber mark that we were targeting but after we reach 5k subscribers we're heading full throttle to the next target which is going to be 10k subscribers but for now boys and girls Let's just focus on the goal that we have on hand. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video, boys. Yeah, see you guys on the next video. I'm not really sure what the next video is, but something really hard is coming, boys, for the E30. It's, of course, the E30 content, uh, but something crazy is coming up, boys. I'm not going to say much. I'm not going to jinx it. So, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready for that because I'm really not, which was a big surprise to me as well. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking too much, guys. Cheers. In the hard work, they calling the talent. And I find that disrespectful because I put on the mileage. Up for the sh but I'm down for the challenge. Step off the scene just to find me a balance. Uh. These niggas don't want it to get it because when it got hard, them niggas I quit it. So much hustle, dog. It's all about that muscle, dog. Yeah. Trying to make it out the struggle, dog. Yeah.